Hi there. Today I wanted to make a video about these. They're fender washers. And I've had a few comments in some of my recent videos about how I use them as hold downs for the CNC router table. All right, well, let's get to this quick tip and you know I'll keep it short. So by the end of this video, you're going to know why uh, my spoil board looks so spoiled. Well, back in 2010, I built my first CNC router machine. And I put T-slots in it, just like a machine shop mill. Well, I've gained a lot of experience since then. So for the last six years, I've been using my larger CNC machine with its spoil board or waste board. And I've honestly found no reason for T-slots. I pretty much screw everything down to my spoil board. And there's one particular technique that I'd like to share with you today. Once I've cut my stock down to size for the project, I add a couple of very shallow saw kerfs to a couple of the edges, about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. I keep a variety of screws and washers on hand, and it's super secure and very low profile. For some projects, my stock is prepared on the bandsaw, and that works just as well. This particular project needs a little extra stickiness. Have you ever used blue tape and super glue on your CNC projects? If you have, give me a simple yes down in the comments. That way, I'll know I'm not the only one. If you look close here, you'll notice that I upgraded to the fender washers on this one. Okay, well, you're looking at the first project that I ever used this hold down technique on. This is a three inch thick piece of oak. This is the best solution I could come up with with a piece of stock that was this big. What's the thickest piece of material you've ever mounted to your router table? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments. So what do I do when my spoil board starts looking this bad? Well, I resurface it. I take off between 30 and 50 thousandths of an inch, and it cleans it up pretty good. Remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, you can become a patron. And remember to check my website for project plans and free 3D models. If you're a new subscriber or a current subscriber, please remember to hit that little bell button so you get notifications when my new videos come out. Whereas the fender washers have a lot more metal, they're a lot wider, a lot flatter. I'm not sure why they're called fender washers though, actually.